All right, so I thought I'd share some lucid dreaming hacks. Things you can do that will just make the whole thing easier. These are a way of getting inside your mind and making your lucid dreams help you become more lucid in the future. All right, so the first lucid dreaming hack is when you're actually lucid in the dream, you've become aware that you're dreaming, you can actually ask the dream itself to help you become more lucid in the future. You just literally shout out to the dream, make me lucid next time I try, or you know, make me lucid next time tomorrow. And the subconscious mind, your, your dream itself, will actually help you become lucid in the future. And it's a really powerful way, like I've said before, dream commands are really real. They are powerful, they're a good way of using your mind to help you instead of working against your own mind. Because you can't really win a, a fight against your subconscious, it's always going to win. So if you can ask your subconscious to help you, and if, if it does help you, that's really going to be good. Number two, meditate in an actual lucid dream. This is a really good way of firstly grounding yourself in the dream. Because when you do meditate in a dream, you're going to be feeling so profoundly relaxed and in control that the, it's going to last a lot longer for one. Um, but also, you're going to find that it's easier to direct where you want to go. If you meditate in the dream, you're going to firstly, it's been called in other videos, gathering chi energy in the dream or, you know, gathering your internal energy source, whatever you want to call it. it all, I, all I mean by this is just meditate inside the lucid dream itself. So sit down on the floor in your dream, but don't close your eyes. If you close your eyes, you're probably going to wake up. Okay. And you don't want that. So just sit down on the floor, look straight ahead at one thing and just focus on meditating just as you would in real life, but in a dream, because you're already, because your brain waves are already in that deep dreaming state, you're going to go even further, even deeper really quickly, just because when you meditate, your brain will think, okay, I need to go deeper into this relaxed state and it does. So that's a really good one to try. All right. So number three is not really a lucid dreaming hack in the, in the dream itself, but if you do a reality check every time you wake up, you'll find that you avoid false awakenings completely. False awakenings, if you don't know, are where you dream about waking up but you don't actually wake up. So then you sort of go about your morning routine, you might get ready for work and then you find you're instantly snapped back into the dream and you wake up again. It can be quite annoying, it can take a lot of time and it can almost feel like you're trapped in that routine of waking up, going back to sleep because you're, you're never really sure when is the real time that you've woken up. You, you, it could be a dream for you know. But if you do a reality check every time you wake up, then eventually, you know, that is going to become a habit and then you're going to reality check every time you wake up in a false awakening. And instead of, you know, going through the, the morning routine loop and being stuck there, you're just going to become lucid. So that is a really good, very effective lucid dreaming hack to try. This is another dream command hack. So number three is ask the dream itself to help you remember your dreams. Most of us find it hard to recall exact details of our, of our lucid dreams unless we really try and we really practice and put the effort in, but this is a way you can use your subconscious mind to actually help you do that. Just ask it to help you, ask, ask the dream itself, can you help me remember my dreams more? And you'll find that it does. Always rotate your reality checks, your, your techniques and the, the things that you're practicing. Always make sure that you change them up and try different things. Uh, a lot of us get stuck in the routine of just doing one reality check, one technique and just doing one thing in their lucid dreams, whether it's flying, having sex or, you know, running around like crazy. There are so many more things you could do and it's more effective when you combine them. Okay, so when you say, this week I'm going to do this reality check, then the next week I'll do the finger palm push, then the next week I'll do the pinching your nose reality check, then the next week and so on, right? So that you don't let your subconscious mind become accustomed to the reality checks you're using. You want to constantly keep your mind on edge and on guard because that way you're going to, if you don't do that, you're going to fall into a plateau, you're going to hit a lucid dream rut, we say, where you just can't seem to lucid dream anymore because you're used to the reality checks, you're used to the techniques and you just can't, it's just not the same. You need to constantly challenge yourself and give yourself new stimuli, whether that's a new reality check, new experiences in waking life that will then feed your memories and then therefore your dreams uh, or whether it's just trying a different technique every week. So hopefully this has been helpful guys, please go ahead and subscribe, it would mean a lot to me, I'd appreciate it and if you could subscribe to my other channel Transcend Your Limits, we're doing daily vlogs on there as well. So see you next time, done.